Okay, so, um, and it is an and. What should ands look like? And, ands go in, okay, they're pointed in. Okay, and then what about an or? Yeah, ors go out, okay? Now, the dots may be open or closed, okay? But ors point out, uh, ands point in until they intersect, mm -hmm. okay? So, if we're looking at this very first one, I got 9b plus 5 is greater than 5 plus 6b, okay? So, our whole goal here is to get the letters to the left and the numbers to the right, okay? So, what needs move? Minus 5. Okay, which one? The left side five needs moved, okay? That way they cross off and we say minus five. What else needs moved? The 6B, okay? So I got minus 6B. Okay, so nine minus 6B. 3B is greater than zero. Okay, and then our last step is to do what? Divide by three. Do we need to flip? No. no. Okay, so we solved our first one and that's just like what we were doing yesterday. And negative three B, six B is less than or equal to six minus three B. Okay, so we need to move our letters to the left and our numbers to the right. So what needs moved? We're gonna say plus three B, or three, sorry. Uh, and then it is going to be a plus 3B. So I got a 9B is less than or equal to 9. Okay, and then what? We're going to divide by 9. So B is less than or equal to 1. Okay, now to graph the zero, should it be open or closed? Open. And B is what? Bigger. Bigger, so it's gonna be pointed this way. And because I know this one is a one, you gotta be, just know that it's kinda gonna go that way, okay? And then the one's gonna be closed. And it says B is less than. Okay, what that's saying is that maybe um, you only shop at Babies R Us from zero to one. Okay, so for babies. Huh? Oh, you got two. What's still open? No. They put a bedroom right there. Oh. Okay, so it's just between zero and one. Uh, my marker draws really big, but um, it would be like that, okay? What, Jerry? You did, I just didn't hear you. Can I scroll? Okay, if we look at three, I got four plus two X is greater than or equal to three X minus five. Okay, is this an and or an or problem? And. and, so what should it look like? They should be pointed in. Okay, what needs moved? So we're gonna say minus four. Okay, what else needs moved? The three. So two minus three is gonna be negative one X is greater than or equal to negative five minus four. It's gonna be negative nine. Okay, then what? Divide by negative one. Do we need to flip? Yes. Okay, and then this one I got negative 10 plus four X is greater or less than negative nine plus five X. Okay, what needs moved?
guys are pretty talkative this morning. <laughs> okay, four minus five X, give me negative one X. And then negative nine plus 10 is gonna be a one. We're gonna divide by negative one and I need to flip. Okay, so on the nine, should be closed. And it says X is smaller, so that means it's gonna go that way. Okay, the one, negative one is gonna be open, and it says X is bigger, so it's gonna go this way. Okay, so this is one of the problems where you're really gonna connect the two lines then. Okay. Because it's an and. And technically the arrows point in. Okay, five, I got three X minus five is less than or equal to four X minus one. Same thing, this is an and problem. So they should be pointed in um, towards each other. Okay, so we need to think about, well, what needs moved? So I'm gonna say plus five, and then I need to move this four, so minus four X. Okay, three minus four X, it's gonna be negative one X. And then a one, negative one plus five is gonna be four. And then our last step always is to divide. And we gotta flip. Okay, for this other one, I got 9x minus 7 is less than or equal to negative 7 minus 10x. Okay, so I'm going to say plus 7 and move the 10 over that way. Okay, 9 plus 10x gonna give you 19x. Negative seven plus seven is gonna be zero. Okay, and then we're gonna divide by 19. And it's gonna be zero. Okay, on the negative four, it should be closed. And it says X is greater, so it's gonna go that way. The zero is also gonna be closed, and it says X is smaller, so it's gonna go that way. Okay, and so that looks right, okay? It's an and problem, and they are both pointed in. On it. So you can go ahead and connect the two lines together. Seven, I got 2k minus 4 is less than or equal to 5k minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to say minus 5k. And I also need to say plus 4. Two minus 5k is going to be negative 3k. less than or equal to three. Okay, 
Okay, and then I divide by negative three and I need to flip. Okay, for the other one, I got um, 8K minus one is greater than or equal to 9K plus three. So we're gonna say plus one and then a minus 9K. So I get negative 1K is greater than or equal to four. And our last step always is to divide. And I need to flip. And the negative one, it should be closed. And it says X is greater than, so it's gonna be this way. And the four is gonna be closed, and it says X is smaller than, so that's gonna be that way. Okay, that's an or problem, so does that look right? Yeah, okay, ors get pointed out, um, and we can tell that just by graphing it ourselves and reading it that they both do point out, so that looks good.